I will say this. Conversations I'm having behind the scenes, this this isn't something new, first of all. This is something that has been contemplated for, for a little bit of time now. I, I do believe if, if I were a betting man, LeBron is either going to retire a Laker or he's going to play for the Phoenix Suns. I think I think it makes sense. Like if yeah. you just look at this logistically, LA and Phoenix are two of the teams that would make the most sense for him to stay if he went anywhere. Um, like Phoenix is an hour flight away from LA. He would yeah. get to play on a team that already has a big three in place that would give him an opportunity to contend. He would get to play with his son on a winning team. You know, it's not like if the Wizards or or someone like that drafted him, he would suddenly be all about Washington, D.C. Like he still <laughs> wants to go somewhere where he could compete for championships. But the opportunity to play with your son is a once in a lifetime thing. And I know he'd be turning down like 50 million plus another 50 plus million uh, in terms of a player option for the second year or whatever. But like you only get this opportunity to play with your son once, if at all. And I do think like the guy's a billionaire. People are saying he's not going to turn down millions. He's always had his max contract everywhere he's gone. And I get that. Like there's a chance maybe he just ends up in L.A. If you ask me where I think he would end up, I think I would still probably have the Lakers number one just by default. But I don't think Phoenix is that crazy. If you look around the league, tell me a better situation that is in a position to draft Bronny that could also – give him developmental tools, give him the opportunity to learn from Devin Booker, Kevin Durant, Bradley Beal, and LeBron James every day, give him an opportunity to spend some time in their new G League team. There's not a lot of situations that are checking all of these different boxes for LeBron. So as much as people are going to say it's crazy, and I'm sure there are a lot of Lakers fans that are going to give a shit for this, like it does make sense if you think about it for more than two seconds. Also, I mean, it, it, it makes complete sense. Whole- You can add on the whole idea of playing alongside your son, but also the potential. You you already have a big three here. You add LeBron James into that. You're already in contention with KD and Book and Beal. You add LeBron James onto that. Now you're talking about LeBron James bringing the first championship to another franchise. Like That's a legacy addition. And you know he cares a lot about things like that. And I get giving up $50 is a lot of money, but when you're a billionaire, does it really even... Like 10 bucks. Yeah, you nailed it. It really is like 10 bucks uh, when you're a billionaire like LeBron James. Here's the thing. Everything Gerald said, everything Lindsay said, I'm not going with you, Esco. We fighting today. <laughs> but <laughs> but everything they said is a, it's a 100% legit. Like this team is already built. I'm going to go on the limb. I'm going to say, listen, we, we've been having background conversations about stuff like this for quite some time. Um, I will say this conversations I'm having behind the scenes, this this isn't something new, first of all. This is something that has been contemplated for, for a little bit of time now. I, I do believe, if, if I were a betting man, LeBron is either going to retire a Laker or he's going to play for the Phoenix Suns. Um, there is no other scenario that I think makes sense, and there's no other scenario that I even think they're really contemplating. Um, for all the points Gerald made, I mean, you, you give your son an opportunity – to go to like Yale of NBA, like you're going, to, you're going to practice every day with Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, Kevin Durant. Oh, by the way, probably the greatest player of all time, my dad. I get to learn from him too. Um, you give him a good developmental uh, uh, program with the G League. Uh, it's a 45-minute private jet flight to L.A. Chris Paul proved that that's very doable. Chris Paul played in Phoenix and had his family in, in L.A., no problems. Um, you're contending from Jump Street. LeBron's about to be 40. OK, at this point, what they're contemplating is pretty simple. Do I go back to the Lakers who pretty much they are what they are? Right. Do I go back to the Lakers, take the money and finish out my career? Or do I give myself one last crack at catching Kobe Bryant, Michael Jordan? One more ring puts him in a different conversation. Uh, and by the way, you can't lose fat. Don't don't for one minute lose focus on the fact that these guys are about to go to Paris together this year. And so that's another element. You get a real head start. If you were to go to Phoenix or pick Phoenix, you get a head start on chemistry, continuity, and basketball stuff with two teammates that you're going to spend probably the next year or two trying to win a championship with. So there's a lot to like about Phoenix, and this is more than smoke, guys. 
This is a lot more than smoke. I promise y'all. Well, okay. Serious take. Fifty million to LeBron can be made up in one good business deal, right? It's yeah. not. It's it's not as if it's life changing. This isn't some guy who hasn't banked so much in his career. He's got a lifetime deal with Nike. Money doesn't matter at this point, right? It is legacy, like you said. It is an opportunity to do something that very few athletes have done. I mean, getting to play with your son. And you guys bring up the great point, too, that it can be done in a situation where you can win. This isn't Charlotte taking a swing on, on drafting Bronny James and, and him having to play in Charlotte or anything like that. But that's not why you do this. That's not why I believe it'll happen. There's a petty reason that I think that this could happen. And I'm all here for the pettiness. I lied about the drama. Bring me all the drama, all right? Me know. Give, me the, give me the smoke, okay? Because who is LeBron James' agent? Rich Paul. One Richard Paul, right? Who hated the <laughs> former disgraced owner of the Phoenix Suns more than anybody? Rich, Rich Paul. Paul. Because do we remember what happened? When it came to Earl uh, Earl Watson uh, and my guy Eric Bledsoe and all the drama that basically Robert Sarver said, fire that guy or you're out of here to both of those guys. Yeah, there's not a bigger MF uh, to a guy than doing that. I'm bringing LeBron James to the franchise you used to own, and we are going to win a title, and it is going to be the biggest middle finger possible to the former disgraced owner of this team, and I am here for that.